Naam, karibu mtazamaji kwenye taarifa zetu. Hatma ya zaidi ya wanafunzi 1600 wa chuo kikuu cha Masinde Muliro ingali na suasua baada ya mzozo baina ya usimamizi wa chuo hicho na muungano wa wanafunzi kuendelea kukolea. Chuo hicho kilifungwa majuma mawili yaliyopita baada ya wanafunzi kuandamana baada ya kupotea kwa huduma za mtandao baada ya mitambo kupigwa na radi na kulazimisha kulipa karo na kukosekana kwa alama zao za mitihani. Usimamizi wa chuo cha Seneti hicho utakuwa na kikao leo kujadili mstakabali wake huku makataa ya saru baina nane yaliyotolewa na muungano wanafunzi kwa chuo hicho kufunguliwa au usimamizi huo uelekee kotini kufikia mwishoni mwa siku ya leo Chuo kikuu cha Masinde Mliro kimesalia kuwa mahame baada ya ile tafrani lozuka majuma mawili yaliyopita baada ya wanafunzi kuzua ile vurumai na maandamano wakidai kwamba walikuwa wanataka baadhi ya vitu vya kimsingi kuweza kutekelezwa ikiwa mojawapo ni ukosefu wa zile alama za mitihani ambayo tayari walikuwa wamejibu na kando na hiyo kulikuwa na ukosefu wa mtandao kupenda internet na pia zaidi ya hayo kulikuwa na changamoto nyingine ikiwemo kulipa karo maana walikuwa wamepatiwa kipindi fulani kuweza kulipa karo yao na iki wangeweza kuchelewa basi hawakuwa na ruhusiwa kuweza kujibu mitihani ambayo ilikuwa imeanza kwa hivyo walizua vurumai wakavunja vitu humu na kule na pia wengine wao ikabidi usimamizi wa chuo kikuu cha Masinde Mliro kuwatuma nyumbani huku bila wao kuarifiwa siku gani ambao watoweza kurejelea hapo jana wale viongozi wanafunzi waliweza kuzungumza na vyombo vya habari na wakatoa makataa ya masaru baina nane ukipenda siku mbili ikiwa chuo hakitaweza kutoa siku ambayo wataweza kurudi basi hapo kesho watakuwa na kwenda mahakamani lakini tumezungumza na usimamizi wa chuo na hiki ndicho walichokuwa nacho cha kusema they had some issues that we were trying to address but i think they did not have enough patience so they caused some damage and we had to send them home one of the issues they were raising was internet unfortunately we had some lightning storm that uh, hit some of our electrical uh, lines so we lost the internet and we were in the process of trying to get it back to function. So at some stage we gave them an extra week, we said four weeks if you need more time to pay fees. But instead they said they want to go to class and pay later at their own wish. One of them was caught with cash when he was told you cannot go to the exam room until you clear your fees. He had 60,000 in his pocket and we know a parent assumed that this student had paid fees. So we want parents to also advise their children that in all the universities you can benchmark. They pay fees before they go to class. I have to say that there is a staff that has a staff that has a indicators that many of the workers have been able to upande wa wanafunzi ambao walileta shida. Uh, of course hiyo uh, uh, jambo acting uh, uh, wakati wengine wenzetu ama community naangalia kila mtu in the management ako acting 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 pia inapeana wrong impression. It's about perception now. Ya yeah. kwa hivyo ingekuwa vyema kama ministry na najua ministry ndio ina delay kwa sababu kama ni interviews wameshafanya sasa hatujui ni kwa nini hawaja appoint DVCs na vice chancellor nao wanafunzi wameendelea kusisitiza ya kwamba licha ya kwamba kuna baadhi ya hatua ambazo chuo kimechukua lakini hawataendelea kusubiri wala kukaa nyumbani kwa hivyo wanasema lazima wataweza kufika mahakamani ili kuweza kupata mwelekeo bora zaidi na kushawishi mahakama kuhakikisha kwamba chuo hiki kitakuwa kimefungua shughuli zake na kuwarejesha shuleni manake wengi wao waliweza kurudi nyumbani muda mfupi tu baada ya wao kuweza kufungua shule na kando na hayo pia wanafunzi wa mwaka wa kwanza ndo kwanza tu wiki ya kwanza walikuwa wameweza Honestly, right now, comrades from Masinde Mliro University, the academic standard is in limbo. Why? Because the university was closed indefinitely, and now, up to now, the university management has not even engaged the student leadership. And now we have got even the four years who are waiting to graduate in December. They, they, they are now in dilemma. We don't know what to do. I want to tell the administration that we will continue. Na tutafukuzana kabisa kwa corridors of justice. 
hakuna mahali utasema utapeleka Lumala kwa sababu amesaidia mambo ya students ama student leader yeyote kwa sababu ampigania haki za wanafunzi atunataka kumpanisha ama kumfikisha kwa mahali popote mimi nakwambia saa hizi nimeweka tumeweka visiki kila mahali ukijaribu kunipeleka mahali popote ama ukipeleka student yeyote mahali tutapambana na we kabisa nitakuacha upambane na watu wanatoshana na we nguvu na mimi niende darasani nisome na we upambane nao we want permanent a permanent vice chancellor we want permanent dvcs we want permanent deans yeah. if things na mimi nashangaa na ministry of education yeah. what is the problem professor magoha wewe mambo hiyo your predecessor matiangi ilikuwa kidogo tu mambo anapigana na haya anamaliza yeah. mimi nataka ufanye with the speed mambo venye matiangi alikuwa anafanya we harakisha mm. ulete permanent vc ulete permanent dvcs na hizi shida za musita Sitaisha. Na bure mambo ya kuendelea hivi ni kuangusha institution kama kuna shida huko Nairobi wa useme ili tujue vile mambo tunaendelea lakini mimi nasema kama hii mambo itakuwa sold venye tumesema tutaenda kotini If they've done wrong then definitely they have to go through our disciplinary process we have a disciplinary process kwa hivyo utakuwa unafuatilia kusubiri kuona hapo kesho seneti itakapokaa labda ni maamuzi gani watakayotoa na ni lini labda tunakapotarajia kwamba wanafunzi hawa